production of I Italy New York is brought to you by Colavita Extra Virgin Olive Oil. Nayef turns 40 in Washington, D.C. Meet Nayef President John Viola, Il Volo, Chaz Palminteri, Tom Sinatra, Sergio Marchione, and many other famous guests. Then follow us with the panel discussion on the future of Columbus Day and have a look at the Italian Expo area. La NIAF è la più importante organizzazione italoamericana, molto presente sul territorio. Gli americani di origine italiana sono 26 milioni, credo che è un dato impressionante, ma dà il peso di quello che rappresenta la comunità italoamericana in questo paese e del grandissimo contributo che ha dato alla crescita e all'edificazione degli Stati Uniti, come ha riconosciuto lo stesso presidente Obama nella sua proclamation per Columbus Day. Our founder, Gino Paolucci, had the vision to start this organization 40 years ago and it became a significant um, organization throughout the United States and Italy. We've had substantial accomplishments to advance the Italian culture, coordinating between the two countries. When we began, we began with the dream to try to think that we can do things to help Americans appreciate Italian culture and appreciate the Italian Americans themselves. And that's the best part of NIAF today is it's overcome very much of the prejudice that was held for the Italian Americans. The organization's older than I am, so uh, we're happy to celebrate 40 great years. You can see this beautiful event we have, wonderful people. I think anybody that comes here is not gonna feel like this organization is old, they're gonna feel like it's young and vibrant. The 40th anniversary, we brought it into a new venue here at the Marriott Warman Park. We knew we'd have more space, more opportunity to include the community, so we had better pricing so people could come, so you see more people than you've seen in years. And we can bring in other groups, so the Italian American Studies Association, different food vendors, different musical acts. We have a dozen musical acts throughout the weekend. Uh, all new experiences that people haven't been able to have We can have now. Io credo che veramente quest'anno le associazioni italiane e italoamericane abbiano fatto un grandissimo lavoro sia qua sia a New York. Un'impronta nuova, l'abbiamo visto anche nelle collaborazioni con l'Italia, su Milano Expo, su eh, le collaborazioni con le regioni, eccetera. Quindi siamo veramente contenti del nuovo corso. I think what you're seeing here is a new energy. NIAF, NIAF is a reflection of its membership and the people that are engaged in the organization. So what's happening? What's happened over the past uh, several years is a re-examination of who we are and the role that we should be playing. And what came out of the, this soul searching was that we need to come together to celebrate and to think about the future. And that's what tonight's all about. The torch is slowly being passed to the new generation of young people who have their own ideas but wish to take advantage of the edifice that is the NIAF for forward thinking about the preservation of our heritage and our culture. NIAF è importantissima perché è un punto di riferimento non solo politico ma anche un punto di riferimento sull'educazione della lingua italiana dei, uh, per i giovani nel nostro futuro perché oggi è importantissimo per l'Italia per avere i contatti con la nuova generazione. I've been coming to NIAF since I was uh, five years old and uh, through the years I've built many friends that uh, from across the country and from Italy that I really look forward to seeing uh, here each year. And J John's doing a, uh, a great job in uh, transitioning NIAF into uh, in, in today's times and really someone that's going to drive the organization into uh, the next 40 years. Welcome to the stage the recipient of the 2015 NIAF Special Achievement Award in International Business, Mr. Sergio Marchione. One thing I've learned from my travels and from my experiences is that our sense of place stays with you wherever you go. 
My personal sense of place is something that has been fundamental in shaping me into the person that I've become. It is based on the values that my family taught me. And these are values that have no borders and have helped me throughout my life together with another very precious element, and that is the spirit that pervades in North America, the spirit of an open, of a multicultural society where the value of the individual and merit are the only passport that is really required. I grew up in New York City. My mother was born in Italy. What made this country great is the notion of immigrants from Italy, from other parts of the world. And the United States is a great experiment. Free market, rule of law, meritocracy, and education. So NEAF, for example, we give scholarships for individuals coming from Italy to the United States. So that's what's important. It's a great honor to be here this evening with many young illustri. E, come, come il NIAF anche noi penso abbiamo questo legame forte eh, con l'Italia e quindi la nostra missione è proprio questo proporre i prodotti italiani in America e questo, questo rapporto tra Italia e America ovviamente. non solo di prodotti ma anche di cultura, di famiglia nel 78 eh, la, mio zio ha incontrato la famiglia Profaci durante il suo viaggio di nozze e da allora sono stati i nostri partner e ancora oggi sono nostri soci nell'attività americana e una famiglia italo-americana, ma di fatto una famiglia a tutti gli effetti americana, eh, che ha sposato la causa di una piccola azienda italiana e insieme abbiamo creato un grande sogno. Ho una relazione molto stretta con l'Italia perché ho una grande pride della mia heritage. Ho rimasto in contatto con le mie roots e le roots di Abruzzo. E, in modo, quando si parla di Abruzzo, di Abruzzo Frank Sinatra non era di Abruzzo, ma credo che uh, Dean Martin era Abruzzese e Al Martino and some uh, other very prominent Italian-American. I'm uh, privileged and honored to be an honoree uh, this great event and a great foundation on a 40th anniversary. Sono molto onorato, senz'altro sono molto onorato. È una fondazione che va avanti, come già detto, da 40 anni. È stata sempre una cosa molto importante di relazioni tra l'Italia e l'America. Ci sono i premi dal punto di vista economico, dal punto di vista culturale, dal punto di vista di educazione, facciamo una cosa molto importante. Abbiamo avuto questa conferenza medica divulgativa dove abbiamo parlato di molti aspetti del, di come l'università americana sta cambiando anche e come sta impostando le strategie per la ricerca scientifica. C'è stato questo premio dedicato al Giovan Giacomo Giordano, mio padre, e insieme alla NIAF degli ultimi cinque anni ha premiato tra i migliori italoamericani nel campo della ricerca medica scientifica e si vede una vera età da quella che arriva a quella che sta qui in America, quindi è straordinario. E l'arte ecco, può stare vicino a tutto, anche alla medicina, alla scienza. Sono molto, molto proud di tutta la grandezza degli italiani, in arte, in cuisine, in scienza. Gli italiani sono grandi persone e continuiamo questa legacy vivendo in America con gli italiani americani. Ho stato in generale consiglio per NIA per probabilmente 10 anni ora. È una grande occasione e siamo molto proud di essere being here to help cover and give, uh, give voice to our uh, anniversary. I've been part of NIAF for many, many years, uh, and uh, actually I was an intern for NIAF when I was in law school, so I feel I've grown up with this organization. I served on the board of NIAF for many years. In fact, I was the first woman vice president and the first woman vice chair. I enjoyed my tenure on the board but I'm back working with the National Organization of Italian-American Women. NIAF is very important for me because the National Italian-American Foundation, it's big. Me coming from Little Italy in the Bronx to come represent a neighborhood and to be with such great people, it is an honor. We have made a great effort to promote the Italian language in these years, including the NIAF, very actively, and other Italian-American organizations, and, of course, the consulates, the institutes of culture, and the national organizations of the country in this country. We have had great results. We have managed to obtain, and it has been a great success, the confirmation on the basis of permanent program Advanced Placement Italian in the American schools. Ma non ci fermiamo qui, siamo convinti di dover fare ancora di più e faremo di tutto per spingere ancora di più la nostra bellissima lingua in questo paese. Credo che dire NIAF invece di NIAF, anche questo è un piccolo segnale che la bella lingua italiana è apprezzata anche in questi ambienti. My father was a very typical immigrant. He came from Calabria in 1906 and he 
wanted us to survive in America, to prosper. And so he forgot to teach us. He didn't teach us the language. But I'm very, very proud to say both my son, uh, my son studied in Italy. He wanted to learn the language. And my daughter has also studied the language. So we're Italian Americans are, I think, very strongly regaining our roots. And I was born in Roma. You were born in Rome? Um, I did not know that, Senator. I lived there eight months. I don't speak Italian. <laughs> but it's true. I, I am from Rome, too. You are? I recognized you immediately. La comunità italo-americana così importante negli Stati Uniti si riunisce soprattutto nell'occasione dell'anniversario del NIAF, quindi per noi era troppo importante esserci, soprattutto in un momento in cui Alitalia ha rilanciato eh, i propri servizi, i propri prodotti, grazie proprio all'investimento di Etihad nel nostro capitale, eh, dei soci che hanno rinnovato, dei soci italiani che hanno rinnovato ovviamente l'impegno. Accompagnate questa serata, questo, diciamo, questo grande gala con una sponsorizzazione molto speciale. Sì, siamo il presenting sponsor del NIAF questa sera. Volevamo ehm, mettere il eh, brand eh, Alitalia di fronte alla più importante comunità italo-americana nel mondo, non solo negli Stati Uniti. Profondamente italiani e profondamente italiani naturalmente anche nel, nei pasti. Assolutamente sì, infatti i nostri menu ripropongono le eccellenze eh, italiane, eh, sono menu che rivisitiamo ehm, trimestralmente, quindi cercando di inserire sempre delle novità. E la novità che abbiamo lanciato recentemente è il Dine Anytime, quindi è, un, è più un'esperienza personalizzata. maggio 2016 il prodotto che i nostri clienti verrà, vedranno a bordo della business class è questo, quindi nuovi interni con sedili di pelle frau, eh, servizi ricerginori, eh, copertine amenity kit di ferragamo e il nostro, tutta la, la, la parte diciamo eh, frette, insomma prodotto Italiano, vogliamo essere italiani. The Italian American community has always believed that when you get to the gate, you're already in Italy. And that's how we want to experience returning to our motherland. The best of Italy. Forum the contentious issues surrounding Columbus Day, with leaders of the Italian-American community, the representatives from the National Christopher Columbus Association and the Italian Sons and Daughters of America. 
I just want to thank the National Italian American Foundation and the Conference of Presidents of Major Italian American Organizations to have what I believe was probably one of the first honest discussions about Columbus Day and the future of Columbus Day. What does it mean for us as a community? Let's have this conversation because in a year, in two years, in five years, we need to think about how do we as Italian Americans want to view this day and our own experience here in the United States. I think Columbus Day commemorates uh, one of the real hinge events of American, hi of American history, of world history, the unity of the Eastern and Western hemispheres. That's had some tragic consequences, but it's also made possible a great explosion of human learning, of betterment of life conditions that are hard to imagine without Columbus's voyage. Columbus Day should be um, respected and maintained in America uh, because of the great epic accomplishment of Christopher Columbus. It had a profound effect on world history and we should not allow anybody to try to uh, eliminate that fact from world history because they they want to criticize Columbus as an individual. It's also an opportunity for Italian Americans to celebrate our tradition, our culture, and our history uh, in this country uh, on Columbus Day. Uh, so we all need to work together to do that. We should continue to celebrate something with regard to Columbus Day, but in the spirit, in the discovery that Columbus represented. And there is so much discovery that we Italian Americans are having every day of our lives. This year we know is the year of science and technology. When we think of the discoveries that have been done by Italians and Italian Americans, that's the spirit that we celebrate on this one day in a year. Someone said if we change Columbus Day, maybe we'll eventually change St. Patrick's Day. And then, you know, it, where, where, where does it end? There should be a, a celebration in some shape or form in the name of Christopher Columbus. However, it should be also in honor of Italian and Italian-American discovery. And I think we can easily do that by working together. We as Italians, as Europeans, we are sailors, we are explorers. And as sailors, we respect the sea. So my point was to twist the idea and saying that Columbus could become the new ambassador of the environment and especially of the sea, of the safeguard of the sea. The good thing about a meeting like this is that if there's enough energy, then what will happen is people will come away with enough energy to decide that within the next two or three months we have another discussion as opposed to waiting for 12 months. Because if we wait for 12 months, we start all over again. If we decide to jump on the bandwagon of uh, Italian Americana, as many of us have, then you take on a commitment. And so the commitment is that you try to infuse that where you can and where it makes sense. Where you can and where it makes sense, of course, is always on the spur of the moment. I think the opinions that we heard today really ranged from elimination of Columbus Day completely to um, creating an Italian-American day as opposed to Columbus Day to Columbus Day as an opportunity to celebrate the, um, the, the explorer and his incredible achievements and also Columbus Day is a day to celebrate the Italian-American experience, the immigrant experience, not just of our community but of all communities. Columbus Day should be about the Italian heritage and not about the man. So we need to just make it more about us. I've never celebrated Columbus Day, so that's why it was really great for me to come here to see like everyone else's point of view and how they celebrate. For me, Columbus Day was never really celebrated, but I was also born in New Mexico where there are a lot of indigenous people. So I was brought up in a family with these Italian American traditions and cultures, but I was also brought up to be sensitive to other cultures because we lived with them and lived among them. And we understand that for them, it is a bigger deal maybe than it is for us. I grew up in New York, so obviously there's the big Columbus Day parade every year, but um, I never really grew up celebrating it. I think the reason why we're here here today is to really focus on the Italian American culture and heritage and I feel like that's a bigger focus than Columbus the man himself so I feel like we really need to work on um, celebrating the Italian American culture the most.
questa possiamo dire che è la terza intervista con voi, giusto? La prima quando siamo stati lì insieme, poi, poi l'altra a New York sempre con, con Vespa e poi questa qui. Tre. Oh, ditemi che vuol dire essere qui alla NIAF oggi per voi. Eh beh, quando c'è l'Italia si è sempre emozionati. In NIAF sappiamo l'importanza di questo Attiva. evento e l'importanza di questa fondazione, quindi davvero siamo, siamo davvero emozionati. Beh, eh, sicuramente questo è bello, no? tornare a far rivivere le emozioni di una volta no? tramite dei brani famosissimi in tutto il mondo, anche le persone che 50 anni fa sono emigrati e sono venuti qui per cercare lavoro, quindi sicuramente noi ragazzi di 20 anni non è solamente un ricordare alle vecchie generazioni ma anche portare questa musica ai più giovani. Questo è stato sempre il nostro obiettivo e da possiamo dire che ci stiamo riuscendo e, e davvero siamo felici perché abbiamo, è, è una garanzia che questa, questo genere musicale si ascolterà per altri 20-30 anni, speriamo, speriamo. speriamo per tutta la vita. Voi non portate solo la musica, portate anche un modo di vivere eh, la vostra gioventù. Ma soprattutto di, di essere un esempio per i ragazzi che non, non c'è bisogno di fare tante cose per divertirsi, bisogna divertirsi con poco e bisogna divertirsi con quello che davvero una persona ama, quindi c'è tanta responsabilità ma noi lo facciamo con tanta naturalezza. Grazie, grazie mille, grazie. Parlo italiano. Io 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 parlo italiano. La musica parla italiano. 